Hello guys, how are you all doing? My name is Victor Ikoya and I am from Nigeria. But right now I'm in Ghana in my friend's house. So I want to make an African food which is a goosey. Um, first and foremost, you can see these are the items available. So I'm going to tell you guys how I prepare my goosey. But you all know right now this is not Nigeria. But anyways, yeah, you can see the, the the items right here. So I will show you a little bit of my own ways of making the pussy. I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a good day and let's have fun. Okay, you need to so, see the name. What is that? So this one in um, Nigeria we call it Ugu. It's called Ugu leaves. So we use this one for different type of soup, you know, depending on what you want, like a vegetable, okay. or this is ugo, mostly using a goosey or bolo okay. and okra. Um, this over here is uh, mangi, you know, onga, and you know my mangi, and you know about no. Yeah. So these are the mangi, but not how I'm going to use, I'll pick the one, I'm going to miss it. So these are the spices. We have powder, chicken, flavor, stock, and this one is not made. You can see. Mm -hmm. So this is crayfish. You know, when you see crayfish, uh, we have different crayfish. You understand? Those of you, you understand me better. So I'm going to grind this. I'm going to use this quantity of crayfish and mix with the agusi, which is right here in the engine. So I'm going to mix, mix it together. So next, we are having a uh, stockfish. I know the way I said it, but those of you right in Nigeria, or most of you that understand what I'm saying, you will get, you, they have different way they'll say it over here. So this is stockfish. I'm going to put, put it inside with the goosey okay. when I'm boiling the meat. And uh, this is... Uh, habanero. Habanero. And you, for our local language, call it pepper. We have green pepper, we have red pepper. You know, depending on your, the your chili style, one. the chili one, the one you want to use. And right now, I mean, in my friends' house, you know, they don't use much pepper. I know you guys are like, wow, you know, the surprise. I have this kind of pepper, you know. Sometimes you have to reduce your quantity of not everyone like too much of spices. Mm -hmm. So, and you see right here, these are dry stockfish. You know, which you normally use when I wash it, and you mix and get your your taste out. So these are two dry fish. This is the red oil, which is very very important. You must go with your red oil. Um, this is um, this is garlic. So it's very you know what garlic does in this, your body. So it's very good. I will use this too. Um, and we have here some more. For most of you that don't know what they call semo, this is what they call semo vita. So you use this with hot water, you make it like as if you are making gari, you know. But you can use the soup with with gari, you can use it with your cocoa yam, you can eat it, you can eat the soup with egusi, with yam, depend on anything that that you like. But this what I have right now is semo. So maybe I will make this here. I don't know, I will show you guys too, so you can see when I'm enjoying it with my family. Um, right here we have uh, the chicken, the soft chicken, you can see how fat it is and, and lovely. <laughs> and right here again, you can see the the uh, dry fish, you know, it's already the, the peel out, you understand? So sometimes this fish, you guys know, like in my place, they call it titus fish. In Africa, so it depends here. Titus, fish. yeah, Titus fish, yeah. So everybody have different way of fish, you know, that they used to make what they want to to get. Okay, so, and then here he gonna show you. This is the the egg. Is that the um seed for the um melon? Melon seed. Yeah, melon seed. Yeah. yeah melon. Okay, he gonna start it. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come. Oh. You're not recording me, are you? No, I'm not recording you now. 
Él tiene que limpiarlo. Ok, guys. Uh, right here in my hand is a uh, uh, crayfish that I want to use for the goosey. So, and uh, you know, whenever you buy this at the market, you have some, you know, some some dead, dead things on it like you have to that is why you see me with this but you know we have different way of fitting our you know our what we got at the market you know before we use it depending on how you watch you what you got so i don't need to put this to hard to, to the goosey i need to first of all uh fit it and wash it properly before i before i blend it with the goosey so right now i'm going to turn it Turn it over here and fit it to come out the dairy, the jams, anything that is it on it before I wash it. So this is yours. It. So you can see. You can see this is what I mean. You don't need this stuff inside. It has to be clean. You can see this. You can see this guys, it's not good. So you have to make it clean and and get what you want. Then we are good to go. So I have to make sure it's okay. I have to make sure I remove the uh, remove the dairy out of it. Uh, this is not that the fitter is not that big so i have to make use with the one i have you know just to manage the one i have I want to start preparing the goosey. Mm -hmm. Right here with me is chicken. Yeah. So um, you can see this is a uh, electric kettle or electric pot. So what did you put it inside? Yeah, I put uh, the spices, which is uh, the consomes. Yeah. Okay. To please. steam, to steam with the chicken. The chicken. So okay. this is nutmeg and this is chicken okay. spices. Okay? okay. So these are the four flavor I put something. So to steam the, the chicken. So, yeah, to steam the chicken. Sure. So right now the chicken, you know, first of all, you have to wash your chicken very yeah. neat. Then you started putting Before you put it inside there. Eh? Mm -hmm. right. Today we're going in Nigeria style guys. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to try. Yeah. So guys, we'll get back to you guys when, you know, he finished boiling the, I mean, steaming the chicken. It's step-by-step -step process, okay? See you guys. Okay, so it's time to add his salt. Yeah, I add my salt and... The and the consomme. Yeah, the consomme. The man mangi. We're going to add his impoquito salt to to steam the, 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 the chicken. The pollo! Okay. Right now, we're going in African style today. 
Baby, in Nigeria is in where? Is it not in Africa? I don't know what this. Uh, so what is this? Explain to them what is that? Yeah, I've told them before. This is a uh, stock, stock, stock fish. Stock fish. Uh, okay. They use it. They have different ones you can use depending on how you want it. Oh, okay. I think those. Maybe this looks like a little pieces of cackle, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So right now I want to add. Uh, I supposed to cut my onions. You know, it's you know it's uh, how you guys do it, but this one is. I don't have to, I'd rather have the onions, you know. All of you know what onions is in when you cook. Very good. Onions are very good. Sorry guys, you can see why this guy is cutting the onions like this, you know. We have to manage, you understand? So big. You take a bath? The bathroom tap was on. What bathroom? Who don't want it? Why? I don't know. Who wants it? Oh, it. Um, let it boil for like 30 Three. minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah, 30, 40 minutes. So soft. So um, right now I'm going to wash this. Yes, the, the, the shrimp, the, the little shrimp. The crayfish. So I'm going to. Yeah. I go to grind it with uh, the blender. Yeah, I go to grind on blender with the egusi. Okay, with the guys, the melon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm back again, guys. Uh, right here, I have uh, garlic. You know, garlic is very good. You know, in your food. You know, when you make food, it's good in the body. So uh, it depends on the quantity you want. So I want to add this garlic inside the the melon egusi and blend all together. Okay, so you can see me putting it on this. And again, I don't need I'm gonna be adding some onions too. You can see so I want to blend all together with it. Just watch me. Okay, I'm gonna add onions to it. I want to. I gotta to blend all together. Let's see how it goes, okay? I'm going to show you when I'm done. Alright guys, so you can add some water on it now. i try to blend this stuff. Okay. So I'm going to look nice and smooth. Okay. Alright. So guys, right now, I can say I'm... Um, Okay, guys, so all welcome back. Uh, right now, you can see this is what we got from the Ebusi, uh, the crayfish I had, and the onions and the garlic. So, uh, the purpose I'm making this this food uh, is for my my wife. So she's right here with me. Um, we are right here. In Ghana, having a good time. So I want to show her how we, how the our African African food tastes. So I want to show her a different way of my own way of making a goosey soup. Uh, I know she will love it, and I want to to show you to my beautiful wife. Okay. I see her right there. Mm. 
Yeah. I love her so much. She's the love of my life. So say hello. Hello. Yeah. Um. So we get back to you as you keep watching this channel. God bless you. All. I try to do my hair with powder. My wife do it like this. I know I do not You can't do it. The master, the chef. <laughs> yes, yeah. Guys, uh, this is the pepper we're going to use with the uh, onion. With onion, so my brother here, you know we have different way of doing pepper, you know. So this is uh, the shortest way we can, you know, we can use. Because we don't want it too browny, you know, not too uh, smooth. Not too smooth, like yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the pepper, like I said before, and um, this is the content we are going to use. You know, uh, 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 my wife, she's a, she's a Puerto Rico, and you know, most of them don't like spice, too much of spices, you understand? So that is why I'm having this content, you understand? So, so this is what we're going to make use for now, and the rest of us are going to eat this. So this is the content of the pepper I'm going to use with the 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 goosey the melon so keep watching us guys we love you bye bye okay guys we're back right, okay guys we're back again to make our the goosey which is melon and this is the pot we're going to be using and right now it's on the fire you can see it's very clean and neat so there's still some water inside the pot so we we'll let it dry first so then this is uh, oil, red oil. Palm oil. Palm, palm oil. Mm -hmm. Palm oil. So you can see I'm shaking it. I'm shaking it so that I can have some content I'm going to put inside the pot. Mm -hmm. Inside the pot um, uh, mm -hmm. to fry. Mm -hmm. So right now the pot is, is dry. So you can see I want to add the content I need for my goosey. The oil depends about the amount of the agusi. Yes, the okay. oil depends on the amount of the agusi. Okay. Yes, that is correct. That one is like a um, half cup. Mm, yeah, like a half yeah, cup. Like a half, like a half cup. Yes. So right now, the oil is on, on the fire to let us it's getting hot. So I want to put the the pepper, the pepper the habanero. inside the red oil, mm -hmm. inside the pot. So I'll first of all let it to to boil a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then I add my my pepper. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When you have the oil, you know, put the onion to fry? Yeah, I put, I do put onion. Oh. I do put onion, I can add a little salt. It depends. Oh, okay, depends on the... Yeah. Okay. Give me a little onion. 